day one was my host day and we had the Bibliothon tag which was going to be doing a giveaway through a random selection via Rafflecopter. So I chose my Rafflecopter winner after we chose everyone else's winners actually, even though we are giving you the winner first. Um, so that way there would be no doubles. Day one's winner was Adventures with Marley and I'm very excited to be giving her More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. She definitely deserves it. She actually participated in quite a few challenges and she was just really good. I enjoyed watching her all of her videos. So, Adventures with Marley, we will be contacting you on Twitter and on YouTube. There's not really much to say on why I chose her as a winner. It was a random giveaway. I was the host for the character swap challenge. I am giving a winner of this challenge a copy of the program by Suzanne Young, and that one lucky winner is Sarah from Sarah Without an H. Basically what Sarah decided to do for this challenge is she chose to put Katniss into Hogwarts conveniently right as Dumbledore is picking names out of the Goblet of Fire for the Triwizard Tournament. And so she volunteers and chaos and hilarity ensue because of course it's Sarah's channel. She went all out for the costumes on this video, let me tell tell you so many jokes, so many references, the ending left me on the floor hysterically laughing. This video was fantastic, it was my favorite of the entire day. So Sarah, I hope you enjoy the program by Suzanne Young because your video fun. was amazing. My host day was day three, which was the bookish Legos, and all you had to do was build anything you want out of your books. And I had so much fun watching these, they were so cool and so innovative, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. But with that, there can only be one winner, and my winner goes to A World of Words. A World of Words, make sure you check her channel out, check her bookish Lego. She ended up doing a book dragon. You don't know, I love fantasy, and when I saw book dragon, I was like, how the hell is she gonna do this? And then BAM, a dragon. Like seriously, it looked like a dragon. It had the scales and everything with the books kind of in the T, a waggy tail, a head, like, come on. Like how amazing is that? If you haven't seen it yet, you gotta go check it out. And you will be receiving Six of Crows by and Lee Barton. I hosted the DIY challenge for the Biennial Bibliothon. And for my challenge, I was giving away How My Summer Went Up in Flames by Jennifer Doktorski. So basically the way my challenge worked is you were to create something that is out of a book. So it had to be something that we have seen in the books as we've read them. And so the winner of my challenge was Megan from Megan Precourt. The reason I chose her video specifically is because it was very original and the idea was different. All of you guys did incredible with your DIYs. It was nearly impossible for me to pick one winner and I will have a video with honorable mentions. But Megan's was just so out of the box and different. She did a mandrake from Harry Potter. So she got a pot, created the little mandrake, and basically brought to life the idea of the mandrake. And I was just super impressed with it. So I had to choose her as my winner. But like I said, you guys did a fantastic job on this channel. It was so hard for me to choose and congratulations Megan on winning. 13 and I hosted flames. the bookish music video challenge and I'm giving away a copy of November 9th by Colleen Hoover. The winner is fictional Gooseberry1. She did a Primrose Everdeen t Tinder parody. It was literally the funniest thing I have ever seen in my life. I was crying, laughing the entire time. So you did an amazing job. The little taped on faces were just so hilarious and ugh, I just wanna die laughing thinking about it right now. You did an amazing job and thank you so much to everybody who participated. I was the host for day six at the Bibliothon which was Booktube's Got Talent. I just wanna say that I had a really, really hard time choosing a winner. Everyone's videos were so, so good and I sat in my room right here in my bed watching the videos for over a week watching them over and trying to decide who I wanted because everyone's was just so good I think I had a top of like 12 and I had to narrow it down to one it was so hard but I got it there and I'm really excited to announce that my winner is going to be Paula from Fandom and Books she did this amazing drawing of Emma from Emma Books in absolutely amazing drawing of her. Even if she hadn't told us who it was, I would have automatically known it was Emma. And it was just amazing and I just stare at it in awe because it was just so good. Paula, I will be contacting you to send you a copy of Passenger. I hope you don't have it yet and I hope if you have not read it yet, you can read it with me. It's sitting right here waiting to be read. 
so. And I was the host for day seven of the Biennial Bibliothon, which was the Characters in Real Life Challenge. I'm super, super, super happy to announce that the winner of this challenge is Anna East from Clockwork Kitten, who did this wonderful video of what it would be like if she met Arthur Weasley, and it is so on point. Anna East, you will be receiving a copy of Pivot Point by Casey West, a book I absolutely loved, and I hope you love it just as much. Congratulations, Anna East. You did an absolutely incredible job with your entry. I absolutely loved it. So I hope you enjoy this book because you absolutely ado, We it. have to still pick our eighth winner. Anybody who participated in all seven challenges and uploaded every single day of the biannual bibliothon, we offer you a book to win. And this book is chosen by you. We have a insert amount limit here and it has to be through book depository or a free book because you guys are awesome and participated every single day. The participants who participated every single day, not including those who have won already, I might butcher your names and I apologize. I'm really, really sorry. Um, Zaira, Zaira, Sabrina the Teenage Reader, Stephanie Rose, Bout of Bibliophilia, Ray of Sunshine Books, and Lions and Books and Tigers, oh my. Which, by the way, I love your channel name, but also it's really long. The six participants who have a chance to win this book are all in here, so I am going to pick a winner out of the hat, and then we will have our eighth winner. Okay, I have it. And let's open it. Bout of Bibliophilia. You have won our eighth book, so we will be contacting you via Twitter and via YouTube in order to get all of your information. We will be contacting all of the winners through YouTube and through Twitter. Twitter is probably preferable, in, our, in my opinion, it's the easiest one to use, but we will be contacting everyone for their information to give away these books, and I am so just proud of the biannual Bibliothon, and I am proud of all of our participants, all of my co-hosts, you guys are amazing, you all are amazing, and thank you so much for participating in this readathon. My only hope for it is that it gets bigger and better and more and more and more amazing.